Hey, this is Michael DeSillis from New Hunter Church of Christ. This is part one, uh, it's part five of what the Bible says about homosexuality. Now, we're on page 70, 87. That's where we left off last week. And we're going to be talking about why the revisionists make this point. We're going to be talking about that here in a little bit. You know, why they tend to think that the death penalty doesn't apply to them, but yet God's the one that determines that. But anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit about helping us out. We're New Hunter Church of Christ. My name is Michael DeSilvis. We're based in Mechanicsville, Virginia, off of Coal Harbor Road. I'm an ordained minister, which means I've gone to college. I have more than two years of college, and actually more than four years of college in Bible. Probably about six years, because I've gone to Liberty University for two years. I went to Johnson Bible College. For two years and I went to Roanoke Bible College and passed. It's just that I stopped going to Roanoke because there really wasn't a lot of stuff nearby, you know, for the, for me and I really felt like I was not really challenged at the time and now the college has gotten a lot better and it's a university and you know I might go there and study some more maybe in the near future as a student or I might do it through their online learning, distant learning program. I've thought about it. But, you know, all that has to do with you, with donations. We need donations because I'm a real church here. We have a real ministry here, and we have real needs here. And we really need your help, folks. I mean, I have logos. It's $300 a month for the software. Um, 27 months of payments. I've been paying on it for a year. We had more money coming in, but it's gotten more expensive because the money has not been coming in. And you all have not been helping by making donations. So... There's so many ways that you can help. You can, number one, first pray for us. Number two, you can buy our products and services like this product I'm going to show you real quick. This helps support our church. It is $8.50 a bottle. We sell it for that. That's with the tax and all. It's $8.00 but before tax, and you add tax, it's around $0.45, 50 cents. So I just say $8.50 per bottle. You get 40 wipes there. They last a long time. You probably get about... Probably, if you use them every day, you probably would get about a month and uh, probably about a month to two months of use out of these things. And they keep the dust off. It's safe for your screens, safe for smartphones and tablets, and a whole lot more. And that's one thing that we sell out of many things. And when I do IT work, I can work on your computer, your smartphones, your tablets, your laptops, your desktops, you know, whatever you have. I can help set up your smartphones, help order things for you. If you don't want to go through all the hassle to order stuff, you know, it's a pain. And the wazoo to have to go through all those orders and have to do it. Well, some people don't want to do it if you don't want to, you don't have a lot of knowledge with the computer. I can help you with doing that, and I make 25% commission on that because that's the going rate, you know, for setting it up. We have it delivered here. I can show you how to set it up, how to work, whatever you order, walk you through the steps because I'm really knowledgeable about electronics. Uh, I really like doing that kind of stuff, and I like helping people. In fact, I have a client, Mr. Bill Crow, who came here. A week ago and he uh, was very pleased because he says he goes to big box stores like Best Buy and Walmart and they don't really even have people there that are even knowledgeable about this stuff that they sell they just like say hey, you want to buy this this is on sale and they just read the description tag they don't really tell you anything more than what it says description but I actually tell you a lot more and help you set it up so you know it's a little step you know a little more courteous and you go to extra mile and if you try me out you'll see that it's worth more to pay something for what you get because you get knowledge behind it and you also you can also you're by helping a Christian business to grow in your area and helping the church to grow because the little proceeds from business goes to the church and anything you can do will help us to grow in that matter. So please donate, please subscribe down below. Number three, spread the word about us. Number four, post us up on your media on your timeline on Facebook or on other social medias. If you know how to do that, it's not really hard to do. Uh, you can do that as well. And then also buy some, buy our products and services like this product. I mean, we have all kinds of stuff. I can't show it. It's just too many things we have. But help us out. You know, help us with our Logos payment. You know, well, I really do need help. We put it out all over there. It's a real, true, serious thing. We really need help. I can't drive, so I don't have the pleasures to go to the library because I don't have a car. And uh, that's a good idea. Somebody said, you know, one of the pastors said, it's a good idea. And it is a good idea, but I don't have a car. I can't see well enough to drive. But it doesn't blind me spiritually in my spiritual eyes. Amen. So anyway, I just try to help us any way you can. Because we really have bills here. We have a storage NAS we need. We need a new battery for the battery unit. If the power were to go off, everything here would go off. 
in, in here that's hooked up. There's no backup power right now until we get a new battery cell. So that's not, that's not safe if there's a bad storm. Hopefully we won't have any bad storms, but we can't really depend on that. So it's, you know, there's a surge that comes in from the outside. Oh, for God forbid. You know, right now we're not really protected. If we had new battery, the battery could kick in and, you know, keep the surge from hitting the equipment. So please help us out in any way you can. There's a lot of needs. Call me up, 804-789-9373 for more details about all that stuff and what you can do to help. Uh, get involved with us. We really do need your help, honest to God. We do. From the bottom of my heart, we do. And thanks to those, I want to say quickly in advance, my mother, happy Mother's Day. And uh, I love you so much. I hope you got my card that I sent you because I did send you one this year. I didn't forget. I love you so much, Mom. But uh, happy Mother's Day to all those other mothers out there too as well. And I just want to thank you. We got a special sermon coming up for that too. Just a little bit of preliminaries get out the way. But anyway, let's get into this. Let's go to Lord in prayer before we get started. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful day. And please help bless our ministry and help bless the church here at New Hunter Church of Christ that we'd have more physical members that come here. And had our lot that we would have more subscribers online too, and that subscribers would actually donate to us, and that they would feel led to be challenged to help if they're good stewards and they won't mind giving, because it's not about giving to be obligated or about giving because you have to. No, it's because you do it because you want to, because you care, and that you want to help out a cause such as do under Church of Christ. And that tithing is something that all Christians do because it's an act of obedience. It's not because it's forced upon you. It's because it's something you should do because you are in step being a good steward of Christ. And that's why we all donate. That's why we do help ministries out, such as New Hunter Church of Christ. And thank you, Lord, for everything that we do. And let's go right into this lesson. Bless me as the reader and the narrator and the entertainer and the teacher and preacher tonight. Jesus may pray, amen. So let's get right to it here. We're in chapter four, finishing up lesson five tonight on what the Bible teaches. Like I said a little bit ago. Well, anyway, on the first point, as we were talking about, the title of this book, before I go on, I don't want to go, is the same-sex con same controversy debate, defending and clarifying the Bible's message about homosexuality. And it's by two preachers. It's a wonderful book. It's 1995 in a Logos bookstore. If you buy it at other stores, it's going to be more money. But if you get the electronic version, it's 1995. It's probably like about $40 if you buy it in print. But it is a good book. Wherever, however you buy it, it's a wonderful book to get. And I recommend it to add it to your library. Because it is that good. It's powerful. All right, I just want to make...